Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg and Apple has just concluded its Back to the Mac keynote and one of the features it debuted is FaceTime for the Mac. It has released uh, beta software for FaceTime on the Mac so it's available right now. So what you'll need to do to get it is go to apple.com front slash Mac front slash FaceTime and you can download the beta as you can see right here it says beta in the right corner. And we're just going to go download the beta. Now we're just downloading the app and we're going to install it. Let's click continue, 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 agree, install, put in my password. Okay, now that we've installed FaceTime, I'm just going to bring it up. So the first thing we see is, of course, me. So of course, all Macs have a built-in eyesight camera, and that will be the default camera used for this app. Now, if you want to call somebody, I'm going to try and do this discreetly so you don't see all my addresses as they pop up. Uh, but you can see down here, if you go to Recents or Contacts, right now I have it on Favorites because there are no contacts and favorites, so I'm doing this to be more discreet. But if you go to context, you'll get an entire listing of everything uh, on your computer, or all the contacts that you have saved on your computer. What I'm going to do is go to context to bring up my iPhone so I can call my iPhone as a demo. So you can see my uh, computer is calling my iPhone, and it's, and it's basically ringing like a phone call. So let's go ahead and answer. Connecting. Of course, I'm on Wi Fi. And I'm going to have to mute this so we don't get feedback. All right, so everything is muted. So you can see me, uh, both from the uh, Mac and from my iPhone. But if I move this around, you can see other things. But let me go to the uh, forward-facing camera. So now you can see the Mac. You can see my iPod Touch. But you get the idea here. Now if you look at the Mac, you see what the phone is seeing, and if you rotate landscape, it rotates everything. And, and just like the iPhone and iPod Touch, you have this little preview of your uh, Mac's camera uh, in the window here. So you can see what the iPhone is seeing in the background, and a little preview of what your Mac or what the user is seeing in this little window and you can move it around. But there is a neat little feature up here, a rotation icon. So let me zoom out so we can see both my phone and Mac. But if you tap that, the user sees a widescreen view from your Mac. So that's pretty neat. So we're back to portrait. So instead of rotating your Mac, you can just click the rotate button to rotate from portrait to landscape. Of course, if you just want to end the call, just tap end. Not only can you call an iPhone 4 or an iPod Touch 4th Gen from a Mac, you can also call a Mac from an iPhone 4 or an iPod. So I'm just calling, I'm just using the email address I used to set up the account. And you can see that it has automatically appeared. Now the app itself doesn't have to be running in the dock for it to work. So you can see it automatically loads it right here. So all I have to do is click accept. and I'm connecting. So there we go. So there you go guys, it's a quick demo of FaceTime for the Mac. This is Detroit Borg, thanks for watching.